ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Friday, December 2nd. We're preparing for the second Sunday of Advent. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. Let's pray. Stir up our hearts, Lord God, to prepare the way of your only Son. By his coming, nurture our growth as people of repentance and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13. So Paul stood up, gestured with his hand, and said, Men of Israel, and you Gentiles who fear God, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our ancestors and made the people great during their stay as foreigners in the country of Egypt, and with an uplifted arm he led them out of it. For a period of about forty years he put up with them in the wilderness. After he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave his people their land as an inheritance. All this took about 450 years. After this, he gave them judges until the time of Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king, and God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin who ruled 40 years. After removing him, God raised up David their king. He testified about him. I have found David, the son of Jesse, to be a man after my heart, who will accomplish everything I want him to do. From the descendants of this man, God promised to Israel a savior, Jesus, just as he promised. Before Jesus arrived, John had proclaimed a baptism for repentance to all the people of Israel. But while John was completing his mission, he said repeatedly, What do you think I am? I am not he. But look, one who is coming after me, I am not worthy to untie the sandals of his feet. Word of God word of life. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. If you're comfortable doing so, I hope you'll pray out loud with me. It's good to lift our voices together to the Lord. Even though we're separated in time and in space, we're united by technology and in the power of the Spirit. So let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. 
create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Watchful at all times, let us pray for strength to stand with confidence before our Maker and Redeemer. That God may bring in his kingdom with justice and mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. That God may establish among the nations his scepter of righteousness, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. That we may seek Christ in the scriptures and recognize him in the breaking of the bread, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. That God may bind up the brokenhearted, restore the sick, and raise up all who have fallen. Let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. That the light of God's coming may dawn on all who live in darkness and the shadow of death. Let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. That, with all the saints in light, we may shine forth as lights for the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. Let us commend the world which Christ will judge to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. That'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org. And while you're there, why not take a moment to make a donation to support our ongoing ministry. Just choose Donate from our menu. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.